and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a first impression build wick and sort of kind of review some features of it for this digi flavor drop rda by um digi flavor and actually designed by brian at the vapor chronicles so let's go ahead and go down and again just this is going to be more of a first impression type of review and build um than a full review and i'll tell you why down below okay so here we are down low and again just like i mentioned above this is going to be a more of a first impressions type of review than a full-fledged review um because of the fact that this isn't the retail version it's really hard to do a full scale review on it um, because it's not going to look exactly the same so we're just going to go ahead and do the first impressions the retail version right away i'm going to tell you is going to have premium packaging so it will have um, different packaging. This is the Digi Flavor box. Um, it's got just a little bit of information regarding the Drop RDA, and it's just the basic packaging right now. Even the um, labels and the scratch and sniff and everything isn't even on there yet. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now I have already vaped on it. I've already taken it out. I've already looked on it. I've already built on it. So yeah. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take a look. Sorry, I'm still sick a little bit. So excuse my voice this is actually how it's coming packaged right now currently in this version um you do get your drop rda and then you've got your extra 810 drip tip here which is to me it's more of a kennedy style um i remember the kennedy styles being more of the taller version but yeah so this is the ultim um 810 and then in the bottom again this is not the retail version there's no manual or anything it's just got your extras in it one thing i do like is the tri tool actually has the two flat ends um and the phillips head so that's awesome which we're going to be using so well actually no i've actually got my screwdriver out it does come with a 510 pin now if you can see this 510 pin actually let me take it out for you <clears throat> that way you can see it a little bit um, closer it is going to be um, changed in the retail version it's not going to be the same 510 squonk pin um, the 510 squonk pin currently if you take it out take a look at it if you notice it's actually got like the phillips head on it it's actually not going to have it that way and that is to actually um, prevent any type of um, leaking or um, condensation and things like that coming out from this portion so this will be changed again the the retail version will have a different squonk pin um coming with it um so that's that um there's also in this bag as you can see there are the flathead um screws in it it's actually the retail version will be coming with the flatheads already in the rda and then you'll have the regular grub screws um, that you can use as well and then of course it comes with your extra o-rings which is always nice so we'll go ahead and put that aside and we'll take a look at the rda itself and <clears throat> excuse me my goodness okay so this is a 24 millimeter rda it is 26.5 millimeters tall it does come with the two different drip tips as i mentioned as well as in the baggie you do get the 810 um, drip tip or the 510 drip tip adapter which is also good for those that like their 510s um currently if you notice it only says drop on the one side where the airflow is on the retail version it will also be on this side of the airflow i do like the knurling that is on it because it does make it really grippy to turn for your airflow which i'll be showing you more of that in just a little bit um it comes in two colors it comes with the silver barrel with the black on the top and the bottom and then it comes also with the black barrel with the silver on the top and the bottom. Either way, I think it's very, very elegant looking. I really do like the look of it just like this. I do know that people are waiting for colors, but I think this is really, it's, it's, it's very rich looking to me, in my opinion. Um, it does have um, drop digi flavor and designed by the Vapor Chronicles. Brian has done an amazing, amazing job on this. I was super excited to see this. I did get to see it in 
Miami when we went to the vape convention in Miami I was there with Brian and the rest of the guys and um, I did get to see it I saw him build on it um, I saw just a prototype but I have to say this turned out even better um, than what he had I think that it, it's it's magnificent it really is um, it does come with the gold plated 510 um, this is the flat head right here so that you can adjust it it does protrude enough so that you can use it on a hybrid mod so that's awesome and I love the fact that it's got these little grooves to hold the top cap in because that way when it's on your mod you don't have to worry about the top cap or the the barrel spinning um, when you're when you're trying to um, move it or close it out or tighten it on your mod and also um, because of that when you are adjusting the airflow the bottom's not going to move so that's another plus I think that that's awesome I do like the wording of the drop um, I, I have seen one review or two reviews on it and I do agree. Um, I think it was Daniel at DJ LSB that said that, um, maybe the wording could have been on the sides. That might be nice. I do like it with the T though. I think that it looks really cool like this. So I'm really excited to see it on this side in the retail version. Um, so let's go ahead and take off the drip tip. The drip tip does come off. I like that it's nice and snug and you can use any of your 810. See, I told you I did clean it up. Um, any of your 810 um, compatible goon style drip tips. And then you do have the top of it, which is here. And this has got the step down, um, which is how the airflow will work, where you can actually have it all the way open or close it off little by little. Um, so that's that part there. And as you can see, if we put this back together, that's in there. All right, so currently, let's see, it's all the way open. And now we can close off the top. I love this part. I actually tried it with all of them. Um, now the top layer is actually closed off. And if you keep going, you can close down more. And all the way down to, if you want, you can just have one air hole open. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there you go, right there. Um, and vape it like that if that's your preference. Um, I'm going to be starting it with it fully open because that's the way I vape. I like a lot of airflow and I can always adjust it later. So let's go ahead and take off the top cap so we can see this beautiful deck that I have been dying to build on. I did build on it once, but I want to build on it with you. Um, and there's the deck. Uh, very, very... Very nice deck. I love that it's wide open. I love, look at, the, look at the depth of this deck. Look at this. The juice well is like super, super deep. I don't know the exact measurements. I have actually a tool that's coming so I can measure that um, in, the, in future videos, but I don't have it. I do like how the legs go. Um, if you see that it's like rounded, like semicircle almost. Um, and then of course your leads would be coming out through the bottom which is nicely shaped. And then these, this is where your opening is. I did test it <clears throat> with um, an Alien um, Tricor Alien um, coils, and that's what we're gonna be putting in, and it vapes beautifully. Um, so yeah, so I like that. I do like the fact that the top cap does fit snug, but it's not too tight on here. Um, so I think that that's great. I do like the black, um, base rather than the ones that we usually see which is like the silver or the gold plated i do like that i think that it it just brings it out in my opinion i do know that this the other one with the black barrel will have a different base but i like this one i think this one is just very very pretty and very unique um in it currently we do have the regular standard eight, uh, 510 pin in it so it is just flat on the bottom with the squonk pin it will raise up which i think is an amazing idea because that way when it's standing up here and you squonk it's gonna disperse the juice evenly and i think that that's amazing i i just love every single thing about this i think that he did an amazing job so we're gonna go ahead and stop talking about anything else and we're gonna go ahead and build on this because i want you to see um how easy it is to build on this um, you can remove, by the way, the gold-plated positive and negative posts. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't have a reason to. I'm just doing a first impressions. So let's go ahead and start building on it. And no, I'm not going to speed through it because I want you to see every moment of it. So let's go ahead and just loosen those up. And unfortunately, I still do not have um, 
an ohm reader that works right so i am going to be using my mod and there we go unscrew that unscrew this and do this side and i love that these are like easy to turn too and i love that my leads are going to be laying flat that is such a plus um, I'm not going to be doing a comparison between the Dead Rabbit and this because I think that they are unique in their own way. I don't think that, I know that they have similarities in the sense of you drop your coils in them, but the way that it's actually laid out and the way that it's spaced out, I don't particularly feel that it's the same. That's like saying that the Reload and the Kylan were exactly the same. They were similar. They, you know, very, they were a lot closer in, in similarities than this and the Dead Rabbit. So we're not going to be comparing those because this is my first impressions. And I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just going to unscrew this just a little bit more. And then um, the coils that I'm going to be using are actually from Coil Clout. And they're beautiful. Look at these. These are beautiful alien coils. And these should be oming out to about a point eleven. Um between a 0.1 and a 0.2 um, I'm just because they actually make them for me with the different lengths I'm just going to even out those lengths so when I put it in it makes it a little bit easier because that way they're just evenly going in so just cut that these are my clippers that aren't as good and then I'm just going to even out this one as well and then we're gonna drop I keep hearing that song in my head drop um, drop these coils in and yeah start building so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and drop it in right there and try to get my fingers out of the way and put them in look at that look with nails just put them in there um what i like to do is just push them down there we go right about there a little bit lower maybe what I do like to do is just move this up just a little bit. They do fall right in though. But I like that it doesn't matter how long your leads are. I'm going to pull it out just a tiny bit. I don't want it laying right on the deck because I am going to have to move it around. I'm going to put it right about there. And I'm just going to tighten these down. With my fingers out of the way because I know that you really like that part. But yeah, I'm trying to let you see the RDA. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. You have no idea. I was doing the happy dance when I found out that I got it. So, yeah, I've been actually um, the first time I ever saw any type of design or anything was back in March in the Atlanta Vape Show when I first met Brian in person. And he is just such a personal person. I mean, I, he's just, he's awesome. I, he's totally awesome. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and clip the leads and I can clip them just like this, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is just slide this right under here. Are you watching? Are you watching? You seeing that? Watch this. And clip. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It's clipped. And then I'm going to clip the other one. I did already find out that you want to like finish putting your leads in or your coils in and then position them rather than position them while you're trying to cut the other leads. It just makes it a lot easier. And I'll go ahead and put this one in there right underneath again and clip. Of course, I need new clippers, but yes. Oops, upside down. All right, do it from any angle. Look at this. There we go, another angle. Make sure that leads out. All right, and then we're gonna do the other side and just drop that one in. Drop. Drop that right in there. And raise it up just a little bit because it drops so easily that I pulled it right back out. There we go. Come on. In focus, in camera. There we go. I'll go ahead and tighten that down. And they're about the same height. I do suggest tightening them before you clip them. It just makes so much sense, especially when you try it without doing that first. And then put the other one in. These coils are just beautiful. Again, they're by Coil Clout. And I'll be leaving all the information down in the description below for the coils. And let's go ahead and trim this one. So just get right under there. You don't have to like move anything, just clip it, take that out, and then do the other side. Just put your clippers right there and clip. 
Ooh, there we go. Yep, lost that piece. Okay, so now we have them in. What I'm gonna do is just double check that they're tight and then that way I can move them around. So that's in there tight, that's in there tight. This is in here tight and tight. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my screwdriver or you can take your jig or whatever you have. Um, some people use like a coiling rod like this. I, I'm i just very passionate about my screwdriver. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna move this over a little bit to center this more. There we go, so it's like over that and then I'm just gonna bring it down. There we go. Let's turn it around and do the other side now. So let's bring it down. Oops, this one's a little bit too far that way. Go, bring it down more. Oops, there we go, a little bit there. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is bring these down just a little bit more, closer to the deck. Like I said, it's a first impressions. I've only built on this once, so please forgive me, but hey, it's worth a shot. Everybody makes their own way of doing things and this is mine and I am happy with what I have, so I'm good. Let's go ahead and drop this down a little bit and drop this side just down a little bit more. I mean, you've got so much space, it's crazy. Okay, so now I can go ahead and position them again. And there we go. Oops. How about if I do it on camera for you, huh? Think that'll be good? Okay, there we go. And got them almost even. Yes, my OCD kicking my butt. I'm not letting them touch. If you notice, there is a space in between them. They are not touching. I definitely don't want them touching. So then we'll get a short. So I'll just move it out of the way a little bit. But look at those beautiful coils. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's go ahead and start heating those up as soon as I just this one just a little bit more there we go yes okay so I got those in and I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down and start heating up my coils okay so where's my tweezers Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. It's so easy to build and drop and <laughs> literally drop, drop and drop. What? And these alien coils, by the way, are Tricore uh, 26 gauge with 36 gauge Nichrome 80. And they have a three millimeter ID. So let's just start pinching, pinching why you need ceramic tweezers so that you don't burn yourself. I'm just gonna move this out a little bit like that. There we go. Wow, beautiful. This is such a beautiful RDA. I love this. Everybody does their own thing. And this is how I do mine. There we go, start heating up. Make sure we're going to tighten down. Yes, and yes. Turn up just a little bit more. If I don't stab myself anymore with these damn tweezers. There we go. Ha, ah, there it goes. Oh, beautiful. And the colors I get off of these are freaking amazing. Get those hot spots out. You see the little hot spot there? Okay. And pinch. And pinch. Look, the colors are already starting out. Got those hot spots. Oh yeah, baby, we're almost there now. Do it on camera, it's so much easier. Okay. 
All right, let's turn it up just a little bit more. And look at them glow. Okay, there we go, almost there. This is the exciting part, guys. Let me take it down. Look at the colors. These are the most beautiful coils, I'm telling you. I love the colors. All right, so we're heating from the inside out. Now I'm going to let that cool down while I'm letting that cool down. I'm going to go ahead and grab some Okay, cotton. so for the cotton, of course, what I always do is my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. I'm going to go ahead and just take some off of here. Put that aside, and we'll start wicking her up. So I'll take some of that cotton off. I'll zoom in for the wicking. There you go. There we go. Just rolling it up. Even with nails. <laughs> so see, it's not too tight, not too loose. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Look at those beautiful coils. In a beautiful RDA. I'm super, super stoked about this. I have been waiting for a very, very long time. Okay, let's roll this one up. And let's get her in. Get her done. I can't wait to vape on it again and show you how well she vapes. And yes, she's a she. <laughs> there we go. Put my cotton in, and of course, as I always do, not everybody does it, but everybody has their own way to wake things up. I am gonna go ahead and fluff out my cotton. And fluff out my cotton. And watch how easy this is gonna be to wick. I'll just go ahead and trim it. Just eyeballing it. Go. Now just a little bit more and let's just put it in the deck right there. That deck is so big. <laughs> it's got so much room still. So if you want to put thick cotton, go ahead and put thick cotton because that is just beautiful. Look at that. It's all wicked up. It's all done. And then you can see the space in the middle, the airflow. You see it? Beautiful. So let's go ahead and get our juice. Now I am running low, very low. My favorite, favorite cereal and cheesecake and custard e-liquid ever, and I'm running low, but I had to use it because I love this, so yeah. So let's go ahead and start getting her all wet. Let's go ahead and drip some. Yep. I always like to prime my coils by wetting the coils with the e-liquid first to make sure that the cotton is getting saturated from within the coil. Very, very important. Um, you won't have any ramp up time with your cotton if you do this. Um, so you're gonna automatically be getting the e-liquid flavor and no cotton flavor. Um, it's been my um, way of doing it and it's never, I've never had a problem, never. I've never needed to ramp up or wait for my cotton to get all wet or, no. It just, it works so much better. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Look at that. Just don't. I'm just going to plop it right in the middle. How about that? Let's see. That's how big this deck is. Look. There you go. I just plopped it in the middle. Yep. Just plop. And now we're going to go ahead and go up top and we're going to vape on it. And I'm just going to put this on there. And yeah. That's all you need. That's all you need to do. Look at that, beautiful. Let's go on top, take a vape, see what we uh, have for pros and cons. Okay, so I couldn't wait. So, already got some clouds going, and let me tell you. Huh? The flavor is immense. The flavor is immense. I have to tell you, the flavor on this is really great. It is ohming out at a 0.12, as I said. I have it on 75 watts. I'm actually going to go ahead and bump that up to 85 and take another vape. Um, right now, the airflow is totally wide open. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's totally wide open, and we'll close it down some. Easy. 
even with it wide open, very, very good flavor. I love the feel of the drip tip. One thing I really like is this drip tip. I mean, it matches my Wonder Woman absolutely perfectly. Um, I, I know that sometimes you're gonna get like condensation on the drip tip, but for the most part, I kind of like clear drip tips. So this was like a plus for me. Um, I'm kind of getting tired of the Ultim. I, it's not that I wouldn't use it or I don't have any or I won't use it. It's that, you know, it's everything's coming with Ultim now. So this is a big, big change. Um, and I really, really like it. Again, this is just a first impressions. We're not going to be comparing to other RDAs and you know what I mean. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and lower this a little bit. I'm going to take off the top. There we go. And just have the six holes on each side open. And take a bit. This is like one of my absolute favorite e-liquids, so I know exactly what it's supposed to taste like. This is Vape Girl Vixen's um, Berry Obsessed Cereal Cream Cheese. No, no, it's got so much stuff in it. It's really, really good. Um, I'll leave the information for that below as well. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to close it down a little bit more. Please excuse my throat. And let me see. i got to close down now that much. It's actually got five four on the top and two on the bottom and yeah so let's take another vape definitely more restrictive i do like it more open um personally i know that this is more like a bottom and and side airflow i don't necessarily like total bottom airflows personally i would prefer a side or like this is set up um than the bottom i have bad luck with bottom airflow with my over dripping so not that i ever do that but yeah so um yeah so i really like it with the airflow open tremendous vapor tremendous flavor really liking it okay so pros and cons um Honestly, the cons, I haven't, and I'm being totally honest, I mean, I'm not being subjective because I know Brian or I met him or anything like that. I have been looking forward to this because I like RDAs. I love, love, love RDAs and I love um, the, I don't, the postless style decks and this is new because it's the drop-in and I'm really liking it. Um, anybody that knows me knows my preference and this is it. Um, the... I, I like the colors. I really like that. I think that that looks very sleek. I think that it looks very, very, how do you even say it? Like, it's just very impressive. It really is. I haven't seen the black with the silver, but I have, I like this one. Um, will it come in different colors? Probably just like everything else does. Um, the pros on this, I like that it's easy. It's easy to build on and I can't wait. I will be eventually. I'm making different types of bills. I want to do three coils. I want to do um, four coils. I will be doing all that because I like to do stuff like that. Um, but I want to give my first impressions video a chance first before I start like getting into it. Um, again, the retail version is going to look a little bit different. You're going to have the drop not just here, but you're going to have the wording also on this side. And then your 510 pin is going to be different for your um, bottom feeding um, pin, um, as well as the packaging and things like that. I think this is a phenomenal RDA. I really do. Um, if you've been looking at it and you want to know where to get it, go to Brad's Vapor. Brad's Vapor. He's he's awesome. Um, right now, they are still on pre-order. Um, he's supposed to be getting them around the 24th or the 25th and then start shipping them as soon as he receives them. You can pre-order now at bradsvapor.com. And um, they are $34.99. You actually get like 3% off right now if you pre-order. Um, they're usually $36.99. And I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, he's got just great products, great customer service. The reason why I found him was actually from his customer service. I bought my first Squonk Mod from Brad's Vapor over a year and a half ago, and I've loved him ever since. I think that he's just a phenomenal person. The customer service is always, always up to par. Um, so I, I do a lot of my ordering through him. Um, the coils that I used are from Coil Clout. Um, and you can find them at coilclout at gmail.com. I'll be leaving that information as well. These are the 
uh, Tricor Alien coils. He's also got a whole bunch more Fuse Claptons and um, Fralians, and he makes a whole bunch of them. So yeah, I'll leave all that information down below. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I didn't mention, and I can't really think of it. Again, it's a first impressions building, but look at this vapor. The airflow is so freaking smooth. It's like, I mean, I can turn this up. On a lot of my mods, I don't because I get a lot of spit bags sometimes on different RDAs. Even though these coils are kind of raised, I'm not getting any spit back. Flavor, even wide open. It's just got tremendous flavor. I really like it. I love the look of it. I, 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 I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. So yeah, so if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you're interested in my future videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell because the little bell will, um, I'm just wiping off the inside. I got a little bit of condensation on my drip tip and it, OCD, sorry. But um, <laughs> um, I can't wait to try my other drip tips too. But um, <clears throat> as I was saying, Hit the little bell notification, that way you'll be notified anytime that I do upload another video. Um, <clears throat> if I find any other information or do different builds and stuff, I'm probably going to do another video on this with the different types of builds that I can do, so please stay tuned for, on that. Um, let me see what else. All my social media is down below as well. Um, don't forget, oh, very obsessed. If you like cereal vapes, you're going to love this one leaving that below. Any comments, um, questions or anything, please leave them in the comments and I'll be getting back to you. I answered every single comment that I get, good, bad, or indifferent. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I guess until the next one, talk to you later. Bye.